Yeah, so here we go again. Um, drink of choice is a latte espresso for 99 cents from Aldi. Um, it's Tuesday, time is 12 past 7 in the PM. I'm parked near the place I'm going to an event to in a bit. Um, the formal time on the invitation is 8 PM. Made guest list, so hell, that's pretty nice. Um, Realistically, I suspect there isn't going to be many people showing up before 10 p.m. I'll show up early though because then I'll get a chance to talk with the technicians because that's the interesting bit for me and might as well, you know. Then again, I am here now because first off, it's before the t actual time on the invitation. And second off, um, I, though I have had five tobacco cigarettes today, uh, I do not have any pre-rolled blunts anymore. And I've been considering trying... Um, mini blunts, so size of cigarettes, um, just hemp, for the sake of not smoking as much tobacco. It's bloody warm, it's 25 degrees centigrade, about 50% humidity, uh, earlier I checked the weather station at, at my former place of internship, uh, looking more and more like it might very well actually be my future place of work. Um, I had concerns they might not be able to afford me um, due to that being a place where they appeared to historically save money, uh, wages that is. Um, it's less of a concern now because I actually believe they are for their planning relying on me being there, which means they truly can't afford me not to be there. And to be fair, I, I prefer the place over any other place as well. So. Just got to match any offer, you know. Hell, I might even be willing to take a loss of a hundred bucks a month or so for being at that place. Then again, a hundred bucks a month don't make the cow fat. Um, particularly not for business. So if they're willing to do a hundred bucks, they might as well and match, you know, because it's not going to make a cow fat. Then again, I do expect for my wages to increase as I gather experience and become more responsible. As I take on new responsibilities, I would also like my wages to increase. Mm. And of course, this is also the case with, um, what do you call it, um, inflation corrections. I'm relying on all that, to just about expect all that to be fair, and I don't think it's that unreasonable an expectation considering I know I do a good job and um, my potential future boss also know I do a good job, which means they have no excuse to not uh, pay me proper, I guess. It's been on the back of my mind a lot. Um, one thing that hasn't been on the back of my mind, to the point where I actually missed it, but it's not too bad because I'm not too bothered about it, is I missed uh, two festival deadlines for handing in. One is 25 FPS and the other is the Cairo International Film Festival. Um, though I missed the deadlines and I would have wanted to make them, I don't mind not having made them, oddly enough. It's just because I guess my mind was other places. I did state, I believe yesterday it was, um, I feel as if I was slacking, I suppose that might have been the subconscious yelling, you, you forgot about festivals, you forgot about festivals. And again, that's just the way it is. Another thing I did get at Aldi, I had it before I pressed record, because I can't talk and eat at the same time, is a ready-made turkey sarnie for 195 Um it's hella expensive for what it is, but it saves all the effort, and I ain't got the capacity to do anything like that away from home at this time. Ah. I am more and more considering offering potential future employers um, a contract now before I'm done with my studies. For the sake of safety, because after my degree, I still got a month and a half in which I'm enrolled as a student and I'm getting student BAFIC grant slash credit and won't be allowed to have an income, assuming I want that money. Um, but 
I'd much rather have something queued up at least quarter year before I need it, you know. Who to funk? Ah. Uh. Yeah, and this is um, something quite pretty you can see. Uh, ooh. And that was too much. Rip me. I tried and I failed. Try to do things on camera, will you? Nope. That was a whiff. Now I have ashes all over. Woo! There we go. Okay. Uh, trick is to not to not focus on the phone, but to focus on the paper instead. Apparently. Um, good news is there's more where that one come from. Um. Yeah, I think that's very much so on my mind. Um, getting as good a paycheck once I start working as I can with the option of it growing over time, which I will insist on. Um, with the implied threat, though I really wouldn't want to realise it, of, or I'll look for somewhere else, which is always the implied threat with asking for increases. Mm. And I had even considered going so far as to have two kinds of uh, ask, asking for pay, payment increases, wage increases. Uh, one being the optional and one being the non-optional. Just because, you know, ooh, I'd like more money doesn't mean one has, one is entitled to more money. But one can very well also be entitled to more money. There we go, that's working better. Just the trick is to just do it away from the phone, you know. There we go. Just like that. Uh, I'm looking forward to the thing going on later. Um, I got both my hats in the car. Today when I got up it was already rather late. Um, part of the reason for that is most certainly that I only went to bed today, not yesterday. Um, once I had gotten up, I went to my former place of internship just to hang around, help out. And while I was there, I um, reinstalled with a replacement cable the backward-facing camera of the car. So, you know, that's something. Um, I'm quite happy about it, I guess. I've done a good job because you can't see the wire besides where it goes into the devices. So that's the camera and the recording body of the the main camera up front and the camera out back. Besides that, all the wiring is run within structural elements of the vehicle. It probably took me a solid two hours. Then again, I took out the entire ceiling in the back. And I had to re-loosen it here in the front. Because though I'd had a wire running here in the front in the past, um, I want to do it nice and neater. And I'll manage, so that's something, you know. Uh, we keep whiffing, rolling. Rolling without anything inside what you are rolling is quite difficult, actually. Um, I have very little experience doing this, but I guess that's what you've got to do for blunts, because the stuff doesn't stick together enough. It's not structural. Um, tomorrow, I got the elective shoot again, the weekly repeating thing. Tomorrow will be my last shoot and the second to last appointment. Which means in 14 days, not even, um, I'll have to have the post-production on my elective shoot done. Once I get around to it, assuming I use the suite I'm familiar with, it's only a matter of, um, at most, a working day realistically less. The problem is getting around to it. Um... I'm sure I'll cross that bridge when I get there. I just hope I don't get there too late because that might be slightly suboptimal, you know. Um, really rather concerned for it, I guess. There we go. A cylindrical cone. 
Uh, and now I've ashed all over the car with uh, paper ash, which is very white. That I only cleaned yesterday. Yay. Then again, what do you clean things for besides for them to be able to get dirty again? Um, things can't get dirty once they are dirty. Well, not dirtier, I guess. There's things status cannot change from clean to dirty once they are dirty. Um, it's the concept of if you ain't got nothing to lose, you know. I've been hella sweaty as of recent. I guess it's a combination of humidity and temperature. Um, I don't think I've gotten my hair to proper dry in a couple of days, which might be suboptimal. And I might want to consider not just showering, but also using the hair dryer after to actually dry my hair. I usually use it to get the hair to the point of humid, but I think I ought to consider actually getting it dry, dry, dry. When I say humid, I mean pretty close to dry. Ooh, grinding up that good green. This is a bit of the expensive stuff. This is high CBD bubble gum. Um, as you can see down here, no THC or next to none, rounding error of THC. So that's pretty neat, you know. There we go, nicely ground. And this is what it looked like once it have been ground. There we go, that's a thumbnail. Now I can take these pre-rolled mini cones and wiggle them in like so. Not going to get a good angle on this. And again, this is not a guide on how to roll blunt, so... Nah, you know. Um, don't do drugs, kids. Don't smoke. Even, even CBD or tobacco is not healthy. Don't do it. That having been said, the CBD is, um, first off, less unhealthy than the tobacco for me, to my understanding, which is limited. I am not a doctor. This is not medical advice. Um, and I quite like the taste, actually. It's not that I dislike the taste of tobacco. The tobacco I use, Golden Virginia, I really do like the taste of. But it's kind of expensive. Now, I say, this stuff here... The high CBD bubble gum stuff is four times the price of what I plan on having in the future. This was just for trying, and it is not worth the extra expense. There isn't enough value. Whew, I'm sweaty, man. Actually, there ain't no one on the road. I'm just going to open the window all the way. Haha. -ha. I am parked in industrial estate not far from where I'm going in a bit so I am going to remain parked here and I'll just walk the rest of the way just because there ain't no parking in the immediate area of the place but you know it'll work uh, a bit of exercise ain't going to kill me um, have I even completed my rings for the day let me see no I can finish my exercise ring there's still nine minutes missing Oh, then again, I didn't wear my watch while I'd done the car stuff, because, surprise, the watch need charge every now and then. It was running low, so, meh. Can always man manually enter, I guess, but it's not worth in this case. Um, one other thing, which I don't think will make it into the title, but I guess I might as well talk to you about it as you've been sticking around. Thank you very much for that. Um, is, I'm still not emotionally available. But I have noticed in recent past, I do differentiate or attractivity of people does stand out to me, which it hasn't in the past. Um, still not looking for a partner, but I guess I'm closer to looking than I was a week ago or, well, three weeks for sure. Um, don't know how I feel about that. Predominantly in the other sex, not exclusively. Then again, the year is 2024, no one give a shit. Um, it's normal enough, I guess. Yeah, it's just, you know, kind of weird. Um, 
In other news, early as I was driving here, um, the plod pulled up next to me. And I did actually put my joint in the ashtray. Um, not joint, my... What do you call it? Uh, fuck, brain. Blunt, there we go. I put my blunt in the ashtray just because I ain't looking for trouble. The pro joke is it's completely legal. And yet I put it in the ashtray so they wouldn't see it because I don't want the extra unnecessary interaction. And that's even though in this city they most certainly do not give the slightest of shits. It's just something I noticed which is, I guess, kind of weird. Um, yeah, then again, fat clouds have been coming out of this vehicle for quite a while. And there you go, that is a mini blunt. Um, there's as much activated carbon filter the brand of Pure Eyes made in Germany, as it is grass, which is odd, but supposedly it'll work, we'll find out, you know. No, this one's not viable, oh well. Looks like earlier I only succeeded in rolling two cones. And then again, they aren't conical, they are cylindrical. Because I don't get the point of the whole conical bit. Uh, I have had five tobacco cigarettes today. I believe for now I've set the goal to myself to try and stay below, well, to start to stay within ten, within uh, one digit for the day, so below ten. Uh, thus far, I appear to be managing. I believe today I will also manage. Yesterday I also had, I once again had, I believe eight it was total. And I had my first tobacco cigarette with you earlier today, this morning, last session. Thank you very much for watching, by the way. If you're watching this, odds are you watch that, so nice stuff, thank you. Um, it's kind of odd, because I'm smoking so little. But what I have done in the past to try and reduce my smoking, I am still doing. But now with an added axis, uh, in the past I have at the times when I was about to light smoke, wondered, should I or should I not? Can I wait another five minutes? Which would add up to several smokes less. Mm. And now it's a matter of, does it have to be tobacco on top of the five minute question? Which means, if I can have a blunt in ten minutes, odds are I'm not going to smoke a tobacco cigarette now, you know. Now I guess that's something I'm actually rather happy about. In some odd way. Even though it's still smoking and it still is carcinogenic to state the obvious, you know. Uh, I guess personally I'm less opposed to hemp as to uh, tobacco. Then again, I've been smoking tobacco for going on eight years, which sounds crazy. Like time flies so quickly. Nuts, you know. Uh, the parking spot I'm in, um, completely unrelated from what I talked about last is weird dimensioned, um, is on the side of the road and is like 2 meter 70 centimeters wide which means it's too wide for cars so I can almost open my driver's side door all the way before it starts to interfere with the driving area of the road. The odd thing is that also leads to most of the cars parked behind me being parked with way more distance to the pedestrian pavement than would be necessary. Um, I guess I may be overdoing it because my wheels are touching the curb and my mirrors are reaching into the pedestrian area. Then again, it's an industrial estate. People come here by car or bicycle and people leave by car or bicycle and people don't walk around on the sidewalk. So, meh, you know. That's just how it is, I guess. Ah. Uh...
I think I'm currently living in the too distant time. Um, obviously not past, but in the too distant future. I'm worried about in a couple of months. Whereas in eight weeks, my bachelor's thesis is due. Well, it is a couple of months, but still, you get the point. I should be worried about writing up my thesis instead of worry about what I do after. Um, guess I've just got to get my priorities straight. I don't know. Find out, you know. Um, I'm just not too fond of writing and or reading. And I did mean to today start reading up on the sources and I have not decided I won't do it yet but it's looking way and way less likely considering tomorrow I got half a shooting day and I'd want to get out of bed additionally to tomorrow being half a shooting day I'm also taking my hazer and lending it out to a former classmate um, for a tenner just for the shoot I mean the thing cost 35 bucks in the first place so I'm just covering my costs um, yeah, I guess that's kind of funny, but, you know, I'm not going to complain. Tenor's the tenor. Theoretically, it's tax evasion. Realistically, it's less tax evasion than most people do for their coffee at the office. So, meh, you know. Uh, for the sake of um, legality, of course, it's all purely hypothetical. Um, which I don't actually think legally mean anything, me saying this. Um, it could still be used against me, then again, I don't care because I know for certain neuro neurotypical people do not care enough. Um, yeah, I guess that's how that works. just odd you know then again you know what else is odd I am uh, yeah sorry for getting loud there uh, I do have a snack today I don't feel like eating any of it though at this time right now um, the snack is Wagner's original soft eclair apparently it's caramel I had hoped for it to be chocolatey Maybe doughy, but it's not chocolatey or doughy, it's just caramel with chocolate inside. So I'm not as fond of it as I had hoped I would be. I did have one this morning. When I say morning, I mean pretty darn close to noon. Which then again, morning is relative. It can be considered morning of the day, which is when the sun rises. Or you can consider morning whatever the time is after one get up. And, I mean, I've awoken at 7 and 9, fell asleep again in between, and then I managed to leave my bed at 11 in the a.m., so it's not that bad, considering I only went to sleep at about 3. Ah... Uh. I do have to say, I think it's um, odd the cultural taboos that are around grass still, with it being legal and all now, even containing THC. Particularly as I'm smoking no THC, so hemp, um, which is perfectly legal to smoke while operating heavy machinery and so on. Yet, there is the stigma about the smell. To the point where I decided it was worth asking my former boss, my internship boss, whether I might smoke blunts there. Um, asking, of course, with no being the not unlikely projected answer. And it ended up being the answer. And I fully understand why, because in the end of the day, other people don't know it's just CBD and it might seem unprofessional. Then again, tobacco's accepted perfectly fine. I mean, not inside, but outside. And this stuff is not even accepted outside, which is odd if you think about it. Of course, I mean, customers can smoke all they want, um, even THC. 
course it's legal and it's not our place to tell them you can't. And again, I think they'd also be worried about their perceived image, which is an odd thing because at the end of the day, the perceived image is just people not being straight with one another, you know. Um, it's just people interpreting subtext where there is none. Of course, yeah, okay, people can smoke a blunt, a joint, whatever. And if someone else has a problem with someone smoking a joint, blunt, whatever, while they're working, they can tell them. And then they can say, oh, but it's actually hemp. Uh, it does not contain any THC, you know. It's just got the same smell and the same scent. But it do not have the effects. And it is legal to operate heavy machinery while under the influence of. Um, but the society rely too much on implication, I guess. Im yeah, on implied meaning. Implication, I believe, would be the correct word. Which I guess is odd. I don't know. Might be even. I'm very much so looking forward to Film Club this week. For no particular reason whatsoever. Besides the fact that I obviously do it on a voluntary basis. So it's fun. Or supposed to be fun. Then again, we volunteer for things that are not fun. Because we deem them to be necessary and with film club I don't think that's how I feel it about it but it is certainly not a bad move for me creatively just to get input and so on from others which then again on 20.24 2024 I'm not I'm not um limiting on how it's pronounced um I didn't actually get that much feedback when I showed it. Then again, it was a very small crowd for the day. But I guess people just don't want to give bad feedback. Then again, that's probably me being low self-esteem and all, you know. Like, it might very well be people just didn't have the words. Um, deem, it, deem it less likely, but it's very well possible. Who knows? I mean, they were all glued to the bloody screen for the entire duration of the showing, which was like seven, eight minutes. I believe it was closer to seven. Then again, it's a decent amount of time. Uh, it is really, really quite warm still. Still 25 degrees centigrade, and the time now is 21 to 8 in the p.m. And that's how time go. And though I have hats, and I intend on wearing a hat tonight, all the rest of my clothing will remain the same, including my safety shoes. Just because, why not, you know? Um, it's who I am, it's what I wear, why should I change that for the sake of appearance? I don't get it. And I whiffed up another pipe. Well, I don't think I've rolled a lot of cigarettes. This would be easier. It's actually quite tiresome. I'm getting new tyres on Monday, so it might not be as tiresome then. Actually, I'm likely not getting them Monday because they don't even know which tyres I need. Uh, I know, but they haven't asked for it and I haven't communicated it. I'm still very much so looking forward to it, I guess. Um, the person who had hooked me and the mum pop workshop up did warn both of us, both of us about the other, so... It's going to be interesting to see if they are that abnormal as predicted, because I, I for sure am. Um, to the point where... I would have to be warned about them. Then again, I believe I'm an adult. Um, I believe others are adults. Warning might be a courteous thing to do, but should certainly not be necessary. There we go. Perfect cone. 
a hollow cigarette. <laughs> uh, I believe humidity is higher than 50% since I last checked. Just because it's so humid, I'm sweating and my hair is getting wetter by the minute. And that's even though I have the window wide open. And I'm not even moving that much. Then again, I do have long hair, which tends to insulate rather well. So, you know, you never know. Uh, one thing I find odd is I recently heard someone refer to um, the things I call blunts, which is only hemp or only grass. Uh, I, I heard someone refer to that as a joint, which I found very weird. Considering a joint for me is to, m more tobacco than grass. Uh, might just be a cultural difference, I'm not actually sure, but, you know, it's just an interesting thing to have observed, I guess. There we go. Uh, oddly enough, for stuffing these, uh, I am using drill bits because they're what I had that is of a cylindrical shape of the right dimensions for these things. Um, it seemed rather funny, but I guess one got one got a piss with a cock. One got. Um, yeah, this cone ain't working. Oh well. For me, just the rolling experience is actually rather fun. I guess that's a weird way of putting it, but it's just a pleasant thing to be doing. A uh, good pastime. Same as sitting and talking to oneself. I might very well call this video, let me be blunt, just because, well, you know. Uh, I think I'll actually pack this up. I got three mini joints, not joints, blunts. Uh, those should do me for the evening and getting home, so... And I still got up to f four cigarettes good today. Before I'd start going into double digits, which is my limit for the time being. So... And four cigarettes would be approximately one an hour, so that's not too bad either. Uh... Like, people care so much about appearance. And the only reason they do is because others are not willing to be direct enough. Or they themselves. Which is a real weird problem to be having, if you look at it. I mean, we all have forms of communication. I don't care whether it's the sign language of the country you grew up in or whatever it is. We all have the ability of passing some language. Yet, people care so much about appearance because they use the ability so little and others also use the ability to communicate too little, which is just crazy if you think about it. Because here we are, able to communicate in whatever way, whether it be spoken word, signed word, whatever word. And people don't want to use it and that's why they care for appearance I oh, come on um I for my part my t-shirts are uniform the vest has pockets the trousers have pockets and my shoes are safety shoes like this it's all straightforward not appearance but purpose it's purpose oriented clothing um which I believe is a sensical way to clothe then again there is people I very much so respect and I like who do dress fashionably. Um, I haven't asked them why, because I believe it might be insultive. Insulting? No, insultive was correct. I just don't get it, you know. One thing I've been meaning to do but I'll have to do a big enough sample group of uh, blunts for that. 
is look how much mass I got in a blunt because for the fat ones, uh, the ones I've had the past couple of therapies, they contain between 0.9 grams and 1.25 grams, which is about a euro with the not so expensive stuff, which is actually sustainable economically for me at this time, I believe. It's not less sustainable than the tobacco smoking, so you know. Tastes nice, I like it. It's crazy how much more smoke this produces in comparison to tobacco, but you know, the ceiling need more JPEG anyways. Look at YouTube compression, whatever they do with this. There is the odd foot traffic here, which I totally do not understand because it's just people walking here, and I don't know where they're walking to or from because I don't think there's much footable around here. Then again, people do as people, you know. Um, for the thumbnail, I might very well use what I had earlier. Or I had considered, but I believe is too much of a pain, is um, using the rear view camera. And currently a vehicle is leaving. If it is a vehicle immediately behind me, which it appears to be, I may very well do that then. We'll see, you know. There is an odd mix of buildings around here. Some old bricks, some made to look like old brick and some made to look new. And there's some container offices down the road. I quite like container offices. Like 20 foot equivalent unit. 20 foot unit container offices. Because they're just standardized, man. Standards are bloody amazing. The one disadvantage of blunts is they do extinguish quicker. Um, with a cigarette, depending on how you roll, it can extinguish all the way, uh, well, can burn down all the way without extinguishing. And I don't think with blunts that's a viable option. Yep, it is the car immediately behind me that is moving. Woohoo! In which case, uh, let me go ahead and turn on the car and then the camera. Yes, I know you want a service. Now you'll hear the camera start up shortly. I'm clearing my exit path so I can actually get behind the car once I've pushed the button. I mean, it's going to be video and I'm just going to have to grab a still from it, but, you know, might as well. Recording. Free channel started. Recording. Free channel started. I'll be right back. I'm just going there and pushing the button once I'm back. There we go, that's the video saved. Um, guess I'll pick that out. Anyways, I'm hoping I'll have a fun e evening. I hope you'll have a fun evening too. Stay safe. I'll see you around.